Hello traders, my name is Grigor Horat and welcome to a new analysis in which I will take a look on dollar yen. Now in this um, free video we will of course as always uh, look at this pair from an Elliott Wave perspective. Uh, now we can see here on the weekly chart that pair is clearly in bullish mode. Uh, this was wave 1 wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5 appears to be underway. This is a very clean, nice um, example of an impulsive price action in progress. Well, notice that we are here in wave 5. This is final lack of a 5 wave recovery. So, um, in 2014, yes, we will be looking for some reversal to the downside. Uh, but uh, at the moment, this um, pair is still in bullish mode. So, of course, we will focus uh, for higher levels because staying with the trend is definitely the best scenario. Uh, so uh, here on a daily chart we are looking um, at this uh, wave 5 that I just showed you on the weekly chart more closely. Um, wave 5 is motive wave, it should contain 5 sub waves. Okay, so um, now we will check if this move can be counted in 5 flags. Okay, I can see here wave 1, wave 2, then extended wave 3. Keep in mind that uh, extended wave 3 is uh, the most common um, structure in in the middle of an impulsive sequence. Okay, then we had this pullback, uh, which I think it's a wave 4 and now appears to be a wave 5 underway. Um, there are a few things why I think that wave 5, this red wave 5, has already begun and that dollar yen could move to a new high. First thing is that notice that this pullback that we have seen um, in the last what uh, two weeks um, made a retracement back to the area of a previous fourth wave. Okay, uh, this is also very common because this is uh, called a reversal zone. So we have seen a move from a reaction from that zone. Uh, also notice that. Uh, market moved very closely to this 38.2 percent retracement area did not touch it but still enough uh, it's good enough for this uh, completed way four um, and another thing is this base channel notice that I here connected start point of this wave one uh, and end point of wave two and then I put uh, the parallel line okay and put it on the top of this wave one and you can see that the market moved very closely to this uh, base channel uh, so this uh, tells me as long the market is trading above the lowest trend line of this base channel this tells me that market is in bullish mode okay because this trend line holds so uh, we have seen a move towards this base channel and a reaction f uh, to the upside so on a daily chart i see some nice pattern that will uh, send this market higher. So on the 4 hour chart uh, we will now take a look at this wave 4 and its sub waves. Uh, you can see here that we labeled wave A down, wave B and wave C. Well we know that three wave patterns are corrective patterns. Uh, in fact the reaction from the lows was very strong and sharp. It uh, definitely appears to be an impulsive price action. We know that impulses, strong moves like this from a new extreme, like new lows or from new highs, means that uh, larger uh, that trend is changing or that market uh, will continue in the direction of a larger trend. In our case, I think that this impulse tells me that market want, wants to continue in the direction of a larger trend, which should be to the upside. So I see an impulse up and now ideally wave 2 temporary pullback is in progress, which should find a support somewhere between 38.2 to 61.8 percent retracement compared to this first leg. So we will keep an eye on this support from where uptrend could resume. Okay. Uh, bullish view on this dollar yen remains valid as long price will stay above this short term critical support at 102.81. Okay traders that's it and I will catch you next week with our new free video. Have a good day.